Hello everyone and welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. Today we are on episode number 228. As always, I am Shane Thomas. A uh, quick favor to ask, if you're not already following me on Twitter, make sure you follow me at smthomas3. Go to codekarate.com, check out the newsletter. Oh, there's going to be a lot of cool stuff we're going to be launching here pretty soon. And make sure you're subscribed on YouTube. Today we're going to be talking about the scheduler module. The scheduler module is a really cool module, really simple to set up for content administrators to schedule the publishing or unpublishing of their content. So if you have blog posts or articles or a press releases that have to go out as, at a specific time, or you want to be able to queue up a bunch of content to go, this is the module for you. Let's take a look. So we're on the scheduler module page. It's drupal.org slash project slash scheduler. You can see we are on the version 8.x-1.1. And we can just take a look at it because it's really pretty easy to set up. So I'm going to go ahead and go to our module page, show you that we have it installed. You can see that we have just the scheduler module installed. If you are using rules, you can use the scheduler rules integration module uh, to add some integration between the two modules. But we're just going to use the scheduler module today, keep it nice and simple. I'm going to show you the permissions page here. And there's three permissions, one for administering the scheduler module, that's for admins of course. And there's one for scheduling the content to be published or unpublished, and one for viewing the scheduled content list. So typically your content administrators will get these two and your admins will get this one, pretty easy. If we go to configuration content authoring, you'll see there's a scheduler option. There's not a lot of settings, but just a few. So one, if you only want the user, the content editor to enter a date and not a specific time, you can check this and give it a default time. Uh, the cool thing about that is uh, it, it allows you, if you have a default time when you like to release content, maybe it's daily or maybe it's you know every week on Monday, we always want it to go out at a certain time, you can set that and then the content administrator doesn't have to add the time each time they're scheduling the content. So that can be useful. There's also this thing called lightweight cron. So the way that scheduler works is when cron runs, if it checks to see if there's any content that's past the schedule date, and if it does, if it is past, it will then go ahead and publish that content or unpublish, depending on how you configured it. Uh, the problem with that is if you want really fine-grained control, it's difficult if you're using Drupal cron because it does run a lot of other processes it runs all the different cron hooks that have been implemented by any Drupal module every time you run cron. So you typically don't want to run Drupal cron every minute or every 10 minutes. You want to have that set for every hour, every day, something like that. So if you want fine-grained control over when your content's published, you are going to want to make sure you set up cron using this lightweight cron that uh, the scheduler module or the scheduler module lets you set up. So basically what it allows you to do is it just runs the scheduling process, doesn't do all the other Drupal cron stuff. You can set it up very similarly to how you set up your Drupal cron, uh, but it just uh, it allows you to do it in a little bit more lightweight fashion. The next thing we want to do is we want to check out the content types we want to set up scheduling for. So I'm going to go to the content types. I'm going to select the article content type and go to edit. And you'll notice there's a scheduler section here. Inside this scheduler section, you can enable the publishing or unpublishing. So if we want to enable publishing, this would means I can set it up so it'll publish articles. I can check that box. I can change it so the content creation time matches the scheduled publish time. I like to do that. That way, if I write the post a week ago, but it publish, publishes you know, today, I want it to look like it came out today. You can require that a post is scheduled. By default, it's optional. So you can turn it on, you can use it or not. Uh, but if you wanted to make sure that a content editor had to put a scheduled date in, you could require it, and you could also have it create a new revision. There are some advanced, advanced options. So if you try to enter a date in the past, you can have it display an error message, you can have it just automatically publish, or you can uh, just schedule it for the next cron run. By default, it's nice just to have an error message, but you can change that. I'm not going to set up the unpublishing, but it works the same way as publishing. It's just instead of, you know, if you wanted to unpublish a post at a certain time, you could use that. 
You can configure how it shows up on the node edit page. Typically you won't have to change this, but feel free to mess around with it if you want to change how it looks or how it shows up. So if we click save and we go ahead and we add an article. So I'm just going to do a test post here. You can do add some body content if you want. I want to make sure that I don't have this published and you may want to configure your content type not to be published by default. I'm just going to leave it as uh, it is for now, but I'll uncheck this. If you go to scheduling options, you can now set a date when you want this to be scheduled. So I'm going to change this All right, so we're going to change this to a time that's in the future, but pretty close to now. One thing to note is the scheduling options time is based on the time zone of your website. So my website's currently set to UT, UTC time, uh, but if you set it to any other time zone, you wanna make sure that the publishing options are based on that time zone. So in this case, I set it for a few minutes into the future. And what we'll do is a few minutes into the future, we'll run cron and this unpublished piece of content will be published. Before we run cron, let's take a look by going to content and select the scheduled tab here. And you'll see it lists what's scheduled and when it's scheduled to go. So as soon as this time goes up, we'll run cron and this will go away and this post will now become published. So now if we go ahead and run cron, You'll see this goes away. If I go to content, this post shows up as published. So that's all there is to it today. Now you've learned how to publish and unpublish content on a schedule using the Drupal scheduler module. Make sure you're following me on Twitter and we'll see you next time. Goodbye. Okay,